very stupid of me. This cheese is great. Oh, it says consume within two weeks. Oh no. That one has mold in it. Hello everyone. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to another vlog. Why is my camera lopsided? So I am having my mom and my two sisters over for just like, I don't know, like hangout. So I wanted to make some sort of spread, obviously, obviously. So I pulled out what I already have in my pantry because I usually have like little like staples and things. I should check my fridge too. I think the only thing I have in here are olives. Oh, and I have these olives too. I don't know if these are so good. I have these Italian olives that I bought at um, World Market a really long time ago. It says they're still good till February 25th. They have a pit in them, but they are Regioni. I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, but I have those. And then I also have, I actually didn't like these this much or that much. Um, I love these specially selected stuffed olives from Aldi. I get them almost every single time I go because I could eat them. Like I could eat the whole jar in one sitting. So I really wanted to try the white cheddar ones. And I honestly don't like the texture of how the cheese in the middle tastes or like the texture of how it feels because it's sitting in liquid. I don't know. It's just a weird texture that I'm just not into. I much prefer the garlic stuffed olives. They are so freaking good. But these are still good they're good till august of 2025 so i almost feel like i should use them just because i have them but they're just not as good as the garlic ones and then i have some crackers that i saved in this little ziploc bag these are the maple crisps they're very very good but i'll probably need like another pack of crackers and then i have these hickory smoke flavored almonds that i've had for a while they're good they smell like Almost like barbecue. They're not barbecue, but they smell like that smoky thing. And then I got these at Aldi as well. These are the um, different fruit spreads. So there's pear and cinnamon, cherry and rosemary, um, apricot and cumin, and fig and honey. I can't remember which one I tried. I think I tried the apple. Oh no. That one has mold in it. Apricot and cumin is fine. Oh, it says consume within two weeks. <laughs> Oops. I don't know why I didn't think these would go bad. That's very stupid of me. This pear and cinnamon one smells really good. I mean, these were like $3 for the pack, so. Okay, so it was definitely the ap apricot and cinnamon one that, no, it wasn't. It was the fig that I tried because it has mold in there. So, there's that. And then I have tons of like spread little items. I have so many knives and spoons and like just so many little things that I need to go through my um, cute little forks. I know I'm definitely going to use this for sure. I got this at World Market a while ago. And then I have a couple different boards. I have a Christmas tree board, but I don't know if it's too soon to use that. But I have tons of bowls, which you guys have seen me pull out bowls for everything. I have so many different shape charcuterie boards just boards in general. So I need to go to Aldi. I only wanna get a few things because I just, I don't like when things go to waste. So I don't wanna get just like an overwhelming amount and then it go to the trash. I'm probably gonna get like two cheeses, maybe three, maybe like two hard, one soft, a goat cheese. I got hard oh my God. Hopefully that wasn't the amount of shit that I capture on vlogs is so funny and because you mumble them, nobody can hear what you're saying. You can only just hear you, you put, say something. You gotta put captions on. No. 
You can only hear you say something, me say, oh my God, or look at you, and then you start laughing. So nobody ever really knows what it says. Or what you say. He's being gross, a gross boy. But yeah, I'm gonna do, I think, two hard cheeses and one soft because my mom isn't like a big white creamy cheese person, but I love goat cheese. So I think I'm gonna do like a goat cheese, maybe like a cheddar and then something else. And then I'll probably do like one small pack of like salami or like some sort of meat. And then, oh, I also have these. These are dark chocolate sea salt caramels. My mom is a dark chocolate person, especially because of her diabetes, she doesn't eat she doesn't eat lots of sweets at all, so from Aldi as well. So I'll probably throw these somewhere on the board and then I need some sort of fruit and I wanna get something that's like in season. I wish our um, persimmon tree was letting things out, but it's not. I might get like cucumbers or something, maybe like a hummus. Not too much, like I said, cause I don't want anything to go to waste. I hate when shit goes to waste. So. I was thinking of even making a loaf of bread, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time for that. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. So maybe I'll pick up a sprig of rosemary as well and test out a rosemary loaf. So we're going to go to Aldi. I'm gonna bring you guys. I'm very nervous that it's busy because I cannot record in the grocery store, especially Aldi because it's like a big warehouse. It just stresses me out recording in there. If it's empty, then I can do it. And since it's still early, I should be able to. And then when I come home, I need to pull out everything that I have and I'm just gonna lay it out here to see exactly like what I have to work with. And then um, I need to clean up a little bit. I need to like tidy up a little bit and then get ready and then we'll assemble all the things. <sighs> okay, I'm so excited. I love hosting I just realized I can't host a ton of people like I'm good when it's like two to three when it gets to like ten I'm stressed out it is so humid today oh my god um, Aldi's very close it's like five minutes away so we are off to Aldi it's so funny Tyler talks so much shit about Aldi Tyler is like a Publix Stan, if it's not from Publix, it's crap to him. His first job ever was Publix. He used to be a bagger. He's very much like the name of the brand for ketchup. Like he only wants Heinz. He's, it's so annoying because it's just like, especially as a grown up, you start to learn that like, it's all the same shit. So Aldi, that he calls it like bootleg. He hate, I don't think that the shopping experience at Aldi is fun. Like it's not like Trader Joe's is so jolly and it's fun to actually shop there. Where Aldi is not fun to shop there, but they're not trying to make it fun. They're trying to make it the most cost effective as possible and everything in there, like they have such good branded items and so much good imported stuff. Their cheese selection is great. I am an Aldi stan. Let's go to Aldi. I'm super, super, super excited. I think I'm gonna get like one bottle of wine and then one bottle of Prosecco. I told my sisters to bring either a bottle of wine or a bottle of Prosecco. Um, usually whenever I am hosting something like this specifically, not like a dinner or anything like that. Like if I'm hosting like Thanksgiving, everybody's bringing a damn dish. But like something little like this, like this, I just really wanted my mom and my sisters to come over because I haven't had them over as just like a proper like grown up, like, day so I told them I was like you don't need to bring any food or anything like I think my sisters they're the ones that have the catering company I don't even know if that's what it's considered but um they're I think one of my sisters is bringing bringing pastelio de pionono which oof, they make them so good you guys oh my god delicious so I told her I was like if you have any extra pionono's bring them by but other than that, I was like, just bring like a bottle of wine if you want. I prefer to just have all the food, especially this type of food because it's just snacky. Like, it's not like food food. Like, it's not like it's a dinner. If that were the case, I'd be like, oh, somebody bring a salad, somebody bring a dessert, but it's not that case. My battery is low, so I'm gonna make sure I save it for while we're there. So I'll see you guys at Aldi. Okay, here's what we got so far. I'm gonna keep working my way though. These look really good. Cherry
cheese is great. Blueberry vanilla or I'll do this one. I'm debating on getting another one of these or getting a small one of these. Christmas tree. Uh, I'm smelling this one real quick. Mm, it smells good. These look good. Alright guys, it's haul time. I'm sorry, it's really dark today. Like, it's like a gloomy fall day, which I'm not mad at. I love me a gloomy, a gloomy day. I put my light back here. Maybe I should, yeah, put it there. Um, so, let me show you guys what I got before I start cleaning up and prepping and all that. So, I grabbed this Prosecco. It is fresh green apple and floral. Very, very good, and it's extra dry, which I love. This is a really good... Prosecco, I think it's $10.99 if I'm not mistaken, $10.99 or $9.99, but it's a really good quick option if you're already in Aldi and you just want to pick one up. They're so good to have. So I grabbed that. I grabbed a winter balsam candle just to have for the scent, to set the vibe, you know. I grabbed milk, which is not for the charcuterie, but that's fine. I grabbed these because I had seen them last time I was there and I almost got them and then today they were 50% off. Um, they're seven layer dessert bars, so I'm going to use these as like a sweet thing on the board. Um, they have graham cracker crust, coconut chocolate, coconut chocolate butterscotch chips, and pecans. So, I don't know. I thought these would be really good. I grabbed this onion chutney. Very excited to try this. I think I'm going to put this on this French baguette. I feel like that would be really, really good. Like, toast these and then spread some of this on there. Um, so, I got a French baguette as well. The three cheeses that I picked up are some like it hatch. This is such a good cheese, you guys. It tastes like the um, Supreme Pizza from Papa John's. And I know that sounds so weird, but trust me, me and all the girls were like, oh my God, it does. So I got some like it hatch. I wanted to do two hard and one soft. So I got that one. I got the champagne cheddar, which is one of my favorite cheeses. It's so good. And then I grabbed the goat cheese in gingerbread just for some festive flavor. I grabbed this deli selection of gourmet meats. There's three different meats on there. Got the specially selected raisin, rosemary, and pumpkin artisan crisps. I don't know, I feel like these would be really good. I love rosemary. I'm not a big raisin fan, but whatever. I don't really, I don't really care. And then the other ones that I have are maple and some other thing there. But I got these, thought these would be really good on the spread. My favorite, garlic stuffed olives. And then I also have the white cheddar olives um and then just for the house i grabbed a pack of eggs i got these for tyler these are imported from belgium he loves these and requested them before i left and then i grabbed a caesar salad kit and this i figured this would be a good little dinner chicken and cheese ravioli and it has white meat chicken blended with ricotta romano and parmesan cheeses i don't know i thought this would be a good little combination even with maybe like a piece of this for garlic bread and then I picked up some Febreze just to, you know, spritz around the house. Um, so that is everything that I got. And I'm really, really excited to get all this cleaned up, get it figured out, and then start kind of setting up the spread. So I will see you guys later when I start setting up. I have some cleaning that I have to do, figure out exactly what I'm going to use as far as the spread. And then once I start working on that, I will show you guys and we'll pick back up. All right, you guys, I'm showered and ready. I just need to put a lip on real quick because I want to make sure I'm ready before... I like making sure that I'm ready before I'm setting up so that if anybody shows up like a couple minutes before expected, which I hate that, hate that. If you're invited to someone's place, unless they ask you to come early, don't show up early. That's hostess or host guest 101. 
don't show up early because that cuts into the time. that they were using. To set up so always show up either on time or a couple minutes late even I'm wearing my infamous black strapless that I love with some green linen pants linen pants and this top is like my go-to it's so easy and then I just threw curls in my hair so now it is time to set up the situation So I have pretty much all of my stuff here except for the cheeses and the meats. They're in the um, fridge. So I'm going to kind of set up first what I want to do. And it's going to be very difficult because I want to film it on like for reels as well. So let's see how I can do this. Okay, lighting is pretty good. So I just need to... So how am I supposed to freaking do this?
Okay, let's give you guys a quick overview. I pulled out this old linen that I have. Here is the board. We have sweets, savories, cheeses, all the yummies. I made some fresh lemon water. Um, I'm probably gonna bring out a glass for my niece who is only 10, so she will be having sparkling something, but I'll give her like a really cute glass so she can do it too. Um, I brought out some wine glasses for whoever wants wine. I brought out the coupes for whoever wants champagne. These beautiful napkins that I bought, I think like a year ago at Marshall's. I brought out some of the little silverware. Let's come to this angle. I put some more meats, cheeses, all the things. Oh no. There we go. On this side. And this is the little view. It looks right into the living room. 